Hey, what's up guys? Steven, the salon guy here. And today I've got Scott with me. And Scott is a friend and also a videographer who shoots a lot of videos for me. Right, Scott? That is correct. <laughs> Scott, are you hungover? Uh, just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to ask from what. This morning was a little worse. But <laughs> it's the afternoon now. So. <laughs> uh, Scott has been painfully growing his hair for the last, like, what, two, three months? And yeah. yeah. And now it's at a good length where I can create a really good haircut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper this down probably like a three, three and three quarters, um, and then do a light blend up and through here. Work this in, blend it in through the top, and give him some length on top here, but some nice texture that he can mess it up. He can add a little height to it, a little volume, and some nice texture, and easy to style too. So I'm ready to go. Let's get started. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a three and three quarter guard. And basically what you want to do when you're using this type of guard and for this type of haircut where you don't want to go super, super short, you are going for more of a nice kind of textured look, you want to think about where you want to start the actual blend and the process of, of connecting this into this. So we're going to start here on Scott's hair, go all the way throughout the back and the other side, and then we'll start to work this in by hand so we can create a really nice shape working into the top so it has some texture to it when he styles it. So let's get started. Alright, so we're almost done and I'm going to add some texture to Scott's hair and I'm just kind of point cutting throughout the whole top here just to give it a little bit of texture and what this really does is it creates shorter pieces within the longer pieces here and it helps kind of give the hair a little more stability and support when it comes to the style. So I'm literally just like point cutting random pieces just to create some shorter 
lengths mixed with the longer length. So I'm going to clean up the back of his neck around the ear, blow dry it, and then I'll probably end up using talc or something to style it. All right, so Scott's hair is dry and I'm going to use talc because this works really, really good on finer type hair. He's got a lot of hair, but the texture of it is that like kind of perfect fine hair that literally does anything. So talc is like an amazing product for this because you put it in your hair, it will thicken the hair up, it will pull the hair together, and it will allow you just to get some like crazy, crazy texture. And that's what I really love about this product on this particular hair type. So we're going to dab it in, work it through his hair, and basically you get instant results with this. So you're just going to want to, you want to piece it out, and the way I cut this is, let's just do this kind of a side view here. The way I cut this really is to enhance the texture and to bring out the cut. So a lot of these, a lot of the chipping that I did and the texturizing really, really emphasizes and enhances this haircut. All right, guys, so Scott's hair is complete, and I think it looks amazing. It's got great texture to it. The product really enhanced it. The haircut really enhanced it and brought it his hair type, and uh, I love it. So what I did, again, just to recap, is I faded this from a, really not even really a fade, but I used a three and three quarter guard up to about right here. Did all of this by hand, all right? So I cut it by hand to really give it a softer texture and a softer blend towards about an inch right in through here. Then it goes to about an inch and a half Throughout the whole top, I'd say, is a good inch and a half or so. And then maybe two inches right in the very, very front here, just to give it a little bit of length and added texture in the front, but not too, too long, because if it's too long, then it weighs it down and you can't really style it. I went in and I texturized it to give it that nice, more uh, really textured look on the top, a little more rugged kind of look. Then I used talc to style it when dry. And here we have the end result. Ready, Scott, for the grand revealing? This is the moment we've been waiting for. I am. Are you so ready? ready? You've been waiting six months for a haircut. So ready. Have a look, man. Whoa. What do you think? Nice. Pretty cool, right? Looks good, yeah. Nice texture. Definitely. So really easy to do, really easy to style, you know? Definitely. See how you're putting it down right away? You want to actually go in and mess it up like this. See, I've already messed it up. You messed it up already, Scott. Not even a 30, Don't touch it. 30 seconds in. <laughs> <clears throat> that's also really key to viewers because right away everybody wants to put their hair down like this. When you put your hair down, <clears throat> excuse me, what happens is it flattens it out. It looks like everybody else. You don't want to look like everybody else, Scott. You're a unique Definitely. individual. There's a hair floating over here. So what you want to do is you want to go in there, look in the mirror, look, and you want to mess it up and you want to add some texture. All right, that's how you get that really cool look is trying to mess it up. Don't worry about laying it flat because that doesn't do anything. That doesn't really bring out or enhance a haircut. That is a hairstyle right there. See? It's almost like a little like, mini faux Exactly, man. Dude, you want chicks to jump you, man. This is, this is the kind of haircut that chicks jump dudes. I don't even know if this could help. <laughs> well, that would be my haircut, Scott. My haircut is the ultimate haircut for that. No, I was talking about my face. But... Oh. <laughs> well, Scott, man, it's been real. Uh, thanks for waiting three years to get your haircut by me. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more tutorials with this long guy.